So now you've got your Pass Server set up, we need a way of actually seeing what's inside it. So to solve that, what the Pass team have created is, is they've given us a dashboard called the Pass Dashboard, which is just a simple user interface which you can use to interact with and examine your own Pass instance. So how we do it, if we scroll down, you can see the getting started section. We need to use npm install dash g pars dashboard. Again, if you're still not comfortable with node and npm, look in the appendix, make sure you've got it all installed correctly. So we're right now we're just gonna go copy and paste that into our terminal. I've already got this installed, so it should return pretty quickly, okay? So now that it's installed, we need to run it locally and pass it some parameters. Let me just copy and paste this whole command. We'll just edit it on the command line. So go into our terminal, paste it into our terminal. So a few things we need to change. We need to change the app ID to the app ID which we added in the configuration section on Heroku. Now remember, I'm just using my app ID but this treat this as a password, so you should have something much more secure than this. So master key, I just had my master key and my server URL. Let me just copy and paste that in. And let me go back into pass here. This was my server URL. Paste it in, and then dash dash app name, and you can give an optional name. I'll just uh, call it Code Craft Test. Hit enter. And now the dashboard is now available at this local host URL. So let's just copy and paste that into the browser. And there we go, there's CodeCraft test. If you just click into it, we now have an interface which we can use to interact with our application. And we'll be going coming back to this many, many times throughout the throughout this course. So we have the browser itself. We don't actually have any, we don't have any data or any classes yet in our past server, so this is actually blank, but when we come back to this, we'll be looking at this, this section a lot. And we've also got a log section for any cloud code logs, configuration, which we won't be using, and the API console, which lets you just run really a low level API request to the server. So that's the PARS dashboard, that's how you interact with and view your data on your PARS server.